Okay! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the lab. You are a one-stop shop for anything and everything BBR Draft League related. This is your wanted endless content for YouTube's favorite draft league, wrapped up in the one kirby size shell. We'll start off every week with a quick weekly recap that also features the overall season standings. If you want to catch all the games, make sure to subscribe to all the coaches linked down below, as well as stay tuned as I plan to bring back the watch through streams that everybody loved so much last season. After a glance at the past, we look ahead for the goodness to come this weekend. I'll be covering any trades made by the coaches during the week that are upcoming effective. I'll also be taking a look at the weekly pickums, a fan favorite that you can participate in by joining the BBR Discord, linked down below. Along with your favorite analyst show, the BBR will be having an active fan document, so you can keep up with anything and everything BBR this season instantly. Alongside our viewers, I have hand-selected a team to submit their pickups each week to get another view on the games. Please welcome Invivid Color, CB Marcus, and Gentleman Thomas to the lab. Let's take a look at our first matchup for week one, Jay Ricky versus Dr. Slacking. Three, three to two in favor of Dr. Slacking. A lot of the analysts agreed that Dr. Slacking's offense might just be too much for Jay Ricky's balance to handle despite having the first overall pick. Two very solid players, but the wall breaking potential of Dr. Slacking's nonsense of a team might just overpower Ricky. Next up, we have OG Albino versus Galvanate, an easy sweep for OG Albino fans. With a solidly composed roster like Owens, as well as the rust coming off for Nate, this one just seems a little bit unfair and a little one-sided towards Owen. That being said, I always love an underdog story coming out from Nate. Game number three, we have two-time champion Jack, aka Gravy, taking on D-Double. We have four analysts voting for D-Double this week, including the fans, with CB Marcus being the standout Jack vote. While the rosters are very even, as well as the coaching skill, I do believe that Dell's offense a little bit more for Jack to handle than vice versa. Jack is a very creative build builder, but as is Dell, so this can be a very interesting matchup to keep your eyes peeled for. Game number four it was a serious contender for Game of the Week from all analysts. We have Amel versus Vepsis, two of the best players in the Wi-Fi scene. Amel is well known for his Lechonk strats, but this season Amel's drafted a legitimate team full of actual Pokemon, so Amel's unleashing his full skill. Vepsis is known as one of the best players in Gen 8. Amel is considered highly across the showdown scene as one of the best players as well. These are two amazing players going head to head with actual teams and no Amel nonsense with Lechonk. Game number five is Keegan versus Druby, a severely underlooked matchup. A four to one vote for Druby with me being the only standout vote. I know Keegan's potential as a player as one of the top showdown players. Druby as well has been a face for a long time in the draft scene. These are two phenomenal coaches who are ready to show what they can bring to the BBR table. Game number six is Game of the Champions and what the fans are voting as Game of the Week. This is the D-League champion t Row Price taking on Main League Season 5 champion J-Bear. This is a phenomenal matchup between two amazing coaches with two really solid rosters despite being in the back half of the draft. Unfortunately for Tiro, it is a unanimous decision for J-Bear across the analysts. All of us agree that while both teams are very solid, J-Bear's team is just a little too much for Tiro's to handle, and we believe he'll get overwhelmed. Game number six was voted by Game of the Week by two analysts in Vivid and Thomas, being Kyle A versus D-Ray. These are two very creative coaches who like to bring a lot of energy to their games and a lot of excitement. These two will have their heads locked in, going face to face, with a lot of interesting sets coming in throughout the way. And last but not least is my pick for game of the week, John Jr. versus Mounte. These are two of the best players to ever play the game, especially on Wi-Fi. These two are both very creative, very smart, and have a deep understanding of how the game works. While it is a 3-2 in favor of Mounte, myself and the BBR Discord believe that John can pull it out. This is the game I'm most excited to watch, and I do believe it might be the closest game of the week. Finally, to round out our show today, I leave you all with a little trivia to see who the diehard BBR fans really are. It's everyone's favorite. Who's that Pokemon? Our first BBR Who's That Pokemon was drafted by the Victoria Victinis and Zombie in Season 1, but then was unreleased during Season 2, but returned in Season 3 to the New Britain Rockruffs and Coach Diet type. But when the new gen came around, this Pokemon was no longer around for Season 4 and 5, but returns this season thanks to Pokemon Home, to Coach Gravy and the Vancouver Titanks. Who do you think this Pokemon is? Make sure you guys let me know down below, and until next time, this has been The Desk. Bye!